Welcome to Let the Quran Speak. Ramadan is fast approaching and it's never too early to start preparing. Journaling has become really popular over the last few years and it's particularly useful during Ramadan because it helps us engage in self-reflection and self-growth. We contacted a bunch of Muslim organizations and asked them to send us their journals for review. And Dr. Jabir, we have a bunch of them before us here and I thought we could look through them one by one. Sure. Um, I feel like journals are useful for two groups of people. So one group is the sort of person who, you know, on the first or second day of Ramadan, they remember it's Ramadan, like, oh my God, it's Ramadan, what do I do now? And they're scrambling and they're confused. So journaling can help them to get prepared for Ramadan so that they know what to expect. And then, you know, they can set goals, they can set their intentions, and they can know what things they're going to do in Ramadan. And then the second group are the people who, way before Ramadan, they start worrying about Ramadan and thinking, am I going to be able to accomplish everything I need to accomplish? Am I going to draw closer to God? And then it's a matter of, you know, how do I do that? So they get very mm. anxious and stressed. But journaling can help them to get their thoughts organized and, and help them to get into the right frame of mind in order to enter Ramadan. Yeah, I, I, I might even think of a third group, uh, maybe okay. maybe a group of per persons who they, they want to get everything right, they want to do everything right, and they're not sure how to prioritize. So uh, some of these journals may help to get their thoughts focused on, you know, what's more important, what's less important, do the most important ones, even if you cannot get everything done. So do you want to get started with one of the journals? Yeah, sure. This one here, uh, this is published by Islamic Moments in the UK. It's, uh, it's a simple one. It starts off with a page giving us some uh, Quranic uh, verses dealing with uh, Ramadan and fasting. And then it uh, goes into uh, a number of hadiths on the virtues of Ramadan. And then it uh, helps us with uh, thinking ahead of some reasonable Ramadan goals, like for example, and uh, strengthening ties with uh, relatives, which is a reasonable goal, Sophia, as you can see mm -hmm. here, strengthening ties. And, um, and then it uh, gives you a, a page in which you can uh, state in advance uh, what your targets are for Ramadan. For example, this Ramadan, I aim to memorize so many verses of the, of the Quran. So you can write in your uh, targets there. And then maybe by the end of Ramadan, you can see whether or not you have uh, accomplished what you had set out to do. Mm -hmm. And then it has some interesting tips uh, about, uh, for example, avoiding consuming fatty foods, avoiding uh, acid-inducing foods, and, and so on. And then take a nap during the day because that will help you with the night prayers and also even for the rest of the day when it comes to the fasting. So uh, some reasonable uh, tips like that are very important. Then. Most of the book are, are just lined pages for those who are more prosaic and, and they want to write a lot. So it, rather than some of the structured books we will look at later on, uh, a lot here of, of room to, to write on. So it, it, the rest of it turns out to be almost like an ordinary notebook uh, with the main difference that you know, one will know this is my Ramadan Reflections book. Mm -hmm. So some people might get turned off by that book. But then other people might think, okay, this is a great book because I don't have constraints. I don't have limits. Nobody is telling me what to do. I can just do whatever I want to do with this book. I can write my goals, my purposes. So I think it depends on the personality of the person um, in terms of what they find interesting and what they don't. Yes, definitely. I mean, there's a book here for everyone. Exactly. <laughs> so here's Ramadan Journal. It has a really pretty cover. <laughs> So this is um, called, it's by a company called Muslim Journals, and it's, it's actually created by a woman named Zakia Ali. Uh, and this book is really simple. So what I like about it is that, you know, sometimes when you have a Ramadan journal, Dr. Shabir, <laughs> or, or any sort of journal, it's really intimidating. Like it's, it's very pretty and fancy and, and sophisticated, and you don't really know how to start. You don't even want to mess up the pages, <laughs> right? Well, at least that's how I, how I look at it, right? Um, so, so when you have a book like this with like smiley faces and little, you know, letters and, uh, circles, it, it it's very, it, it kind of encourages you to leap in. So yes. I like that about this book. This book could also be really great for a child, um, you know, a mature child who wants to track their Ramadan goals. Mm. So I like that book as well. Okay. Let me do the next one. 
So this one is called My Ramadan, and uh, it's nicely spiral bound, which is very nice because that uh, means it's, uh, it's, it's going to lay flat and uh, it'll be easy for you to write on. It's the only one uh, in our collect collection that that's is spiral, spiral bound. bound. Yeah. Yes, uh, this one is uh, produced by Dukan Afandi in Canada. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, though it is spiral bound and uh, good for writing on, it doesn't leave much space for writing, but this will be good for somebody who doesn't want to write much. They just want to tick off the, the various uh, accomplishments. Uh, and it's good for that. It, uh, if it gives you a, a, a page a day, and, and that means it's a very short book, and, and, and it'll be useful for somebody who's busy, they don't want to write much, and they just want to go tick, tick, I've done that, check, check, I've, you know. So your five daily prayers, have you done that? Uh, it, uh, you, have you done the Tarawi, the uh, voluntary prayers? Have you recited Quran, done some remembrance of God, uh, made a dua or supplication to God? Uh, have you done a good deed? You did, gave some charity. Uh, usually for each day, there is a, the mention of uh, a, a, some words which can be recited as words of remembrance of God. And also below that, uh, a dua or a supplication that you can offer to God. So it's very nicely done, very colorful and uh, attractive uh, to look at. And well. Ara there's, Arab there's the Arabic. And Arabic. yes, there's Arabic. And um, uh, for example, today's goal is translated into Arabic as had a full yom. Mm -hmm. So it gives you that flavor of the Arabic. Uh, and, and throughout everything is, is dual language here, mm -hmm. Arabic and English. All right. So let's look at the next book. This one is ca called Better Than a Thousand Months. And it's a, it's a really nice book because, you know, it's a hardcover book. It's got this bookmark built into it, um, a cloth bookmark. Um, and it, it's by the Dua Journal. I really like this book because it really forces you to be introspective. I, I think this book is for someone who's more advanced, someone who is advanced in their practice and who wants to go a little bit deeper. So it forces people to think, okay, you're praying, but like what... What's beyond that? Like, why are you praying? And are you really getting what you want to get out of the prayer? Because sometimes we pray and we, we just do the rote, you know, the rote movements, but we don't really get anything out of it. So this book asks questions like, you know, um, what are you getting out of prayer? Do you feel like you're accomplishing what you want to get out of prayer? It talks about fasting. What is my relationship with, with fasting? Um, do I believe in its effectiveness to bring me closer to God, to improve my character? So it asks these questions of you, which really forces you to think deeply and then, you know, hopefully helps you to improve in Ramadan. It's also very pretty inside. Um, pages are a bit glossy, which can sometimes make it a little bit difficult to write. But um, I, I love how beautiful it is. I love the colors. Um, it also has a Dear Allah feature, which allows you to write to Allah, write a message to Allah. Uh, it invites you to do that. Um, and it has, you know, every day it has my intention for today, my top three priorities, a schedule so you can put, you know, what time you're going to be doing certain things. Because, you know, you have 24 hours in a day, but sometimes if you don't think about those time slots, the day can get, a, you can pass a whole day without true. accomplishing anything. Very true. <laughs> so it's a great book. Uh, I love this book. Yeah, let me pick up the next one. So this one is uh, called uh, Ramadan Revival Journal. And uh, it is uh, published by... Imam Ghazali Institute. Oh, you know it already. Yes. Imam Ghazali Institute. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, um, and sent to us by Ferdows Books. Oh, Ferdows Books, Brampton. which is in Brampton, Ontario. Yes. Okay. So this one actually is uh, very nicely done, very nicely laid out. Um, uh, it, uh, it gives you uh, a chance to uh, write your goals at the beginning uh, before Ramadan starts. And then uh, it, it gives you an idea like of the big picture, uh, you know, the, the whole month at a glance. And, and that can help you to not only schedule in events, but, but you can also, in a way, uh, prescribe a certain progress, uh, a line of development for yourself. You can say, for example, you know, I want to do this by day one, but this by day 30. And um, it, it gives you a, a way of, of uh, apportioning the Quran's recitation uh, throughout the month so that you can complete the Quran uh, according to your desire. You want to complete it once? Well, each day it'll be easy for you to recite just four pages after each one of the five daily prayers. So if you recite four pages after each one of the five daily prayers, that'll be 20 pages. That'll be one juz or one part of the Quran. So by the end of 30 days, you've recited the entire Quran. And what usually happens is that if you want to read 
the, the entire uh, juice uh, in one sitting, uh, it might prove a little bit tedious for you, or you might be called away and, and you can't finish the task and then you don't get back to it. But by putting your mind in motion that after each prayer, which uh, most Muslims uh, stop for anyway, uh, then uh, you just recite four pages, which will take a few minutes, then you will easily accomplish this task. So it, it's very well thought out. And what is interesting about this, Safiya, is that you see it's got the uh, QR codes, which yes, you can scan that. either to watch something or listen to something. Uh, and, and that gets you immersed into the whole program. So it's not just simply uh, a, a book to read, uh, but it is a book to interact with, especially with these uh, QR codes. So this is well done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a book, uh, Ramadan Planner and Quran Journal, and it is by Rayha Rayhana Ismail, so she created this, um, and she has a, a company called Ray of Light Design. Her book is also conveniently on Amazon. Uh, what I like about this book is how complete it is. You know, it begins, for example, with du'as of the Prophet, uh, supplications of the Prophet in the beginning, and then it encourages you to make your own supplications. So make note of your favorite supplications. So I like that it, it invites people in and, and it, uh, Dr. Shabir, it encourages people to kind of take part in the process, not just to regurgitate or to memorize or to think about what somebody else is providing for you, but also encouraging you to, to think through, you know, your own du'as, for example. And there's a lot of blank pages in this book. Um, they have a really interesting feature, which is called self-care. So which is not necessarily in all of these books. So it asks, what are your health goals for the, for the month? What are your action plans? What are you going to do to make those health goals a reality? It talks about diet, nutrition, it gives recipes. <laughs> um, it has a 30 day meal plan. So, you know, from day one to 30, you can I'm getting design. hungry already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for, for, the, for the morning meal and for the evening meal, it also has an exercise plan right here, Dr. Shibir. Mm. I can show that here. Okay. an exercise plan um, so that you don't forget your exercise. So I like that it incorporates all aspects of your life because, you know, Ramadan is not just about, you know, worship, but it's also you have to kind of find a way to blend that worship with your daily life, right? So it's very important that you exercise, you take care of yourself in Ramadan. What else? It also has an, an aid feature. So for Eid, what are you going to do? What is your shopping list? What are your plans for Eid? What are you going to cook? Um, what gifts are you going to buy? So that, in, that, that's really important part because sometimes, you know, towards the end of Ramadan, you get really confused about what you have to do. So I like that it includes that. But what's really interesting about this book is it has a Quran, a Quran part. So the, the second part of the book is, is focused on the Quran. So, you know, it encourages you to choose parts of the Quran and talk about it and think about how you reflect on it and how you apply it in your life. So I really like that part of this book. Mm, interesting. And speaking of the Quran, this uh, last uh, journal is actually a Quran journal. It's called the Quran journal, uh, and it is published by... Who's the the Dua Journal, The right? Dua Journal, yes. The <laughs> same people who um, produce one of those other books that we looked at. So, the, you know, they, they, their website is duajournal.com. Uh, now, what is this? Uh, this is not just a Ramadan book. This is to be used uh, at any time during the year. Uh, it has uh, uh, pages that uh, are organized ar around themes of the, of the Quran. So, for example, there are uh, passages in the Quran that uh, uh, deal with parables. Uh, and so we have several pages of, of that. For example, one is in Surah 24, verses 35 and 36. And uh, the, there are boxes and, uh, encouraging you to, uh, to fill them out. They're calling on you to fill them out. And uh, one box is for you to write the verse in Arabic. And uh, the authors uh, expect that even if you're not so very good at writing the Arabic uh, initially, uh, but with practice, you'll get better over time. So they're encouraging you to write the verse in Arabic and then the translation, then write what, what it means, the exegesis or tafsir or commentary uh, on that verse and then write something about the application as well. So in this way, you get immersed into using the Quran, not only just simply reading it uh, passively, but uh, actively 
uh, engaging with it. I think this is a wonderful idea and a very useful book to get one very much immersed into the And Quran. we know Ramadan is the month of the Quran, so it's a perfect book for that. Exactly. So, Dr. Shabir, those are our books, <laughs> right? I believe you've, you've talked about all of them. What's your favorite? Well, uh, you know, uh, th there are so many th good things to like about so many of them, um, and we didn't even touch on all of the good features. For example, uh, some of these uh, tell you, uh, make sure you get enough sleep, and mm -hmm. even gives you a box to track whether you're getting enough sleep, which is also important for Muslims, especially, you know, where we're in the uh, higher latitudes and the days tend to be long, nights tend to be uh, short. Um, I especially like this one, which uh, in my mind is on <laughs> because, you know, I, I, uh, I, you know, the Quran is my subject. Mm -hmm. I, I love to read the Quran and to study it. Um, and, uh, it, you know, we spoke about this for one that I looked at previously that is, uh, uh, that leaves a lot of blank space mm -hmm. for you to, to write on. Uh, I can see myself like leaving this on my kitchen table and then I have thoughts or things I'm studying, working on during the month of Ramadan. Uh, I just jot them down here. And then maybe next Ramadan, when I'm uh, looking back at something that I was thinking about this Ramadan, uh, I'll be able to fill up this journal and then, you know, retrace my, my thoughts uh, on that. So, I mean, these are, these are two that I can think of that are very useful to me. Others are very useful as well. Um, but, you know, there's something here for, for everyone. I think for different personalities, you'll find different journals, right? That's Some right. people will want to jot something down quickly. They won't want to spend too much time thinking about it. Uh, they might be busy as well. Some people will want to make this part of their Ramadan experience. You know, every day they might spend an hour or two on their Ramadan journal. Exactly. So they'll, they'll embrace it in different ways and they'll take different ones, you know. Yes. Uh, for me, I really like um, this one here because mm -hmm. I feel like it's a very complete uh, planner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like this one as well, better than a thousand months because... Um, I feel like it forces you to confront your bad habits <laughs> and make okay. them better. Keep and, that one yeah. away from me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but they're all amazing. I love them. And, uh, you know, there, there's something for everyone. I like the ones for kids as well. I like this one that could be used for a child. Yes. Um, and, of course, this one as well can be used for a child, even though it is an adult one. But I think a child would enjoy it as well. The one because of the, the simple faces. layout yeah. and the number of checkboxes exactly. and big, so on. The big, the big test, yeah. text font, right? I, I like the ones like this that give you like the happy face if you're doing good exactly. and the, the frowny face if you're not doing so well. You don't so even well. adults like that. <laughs> <laughs> so these are all the planners. Please check out the links below. You can purchase one yourself and tell us which ones that you like best. You can also go on Instagram. We're giving away some of these planners. So please comment and share so you can get one yourself. So Dr. Shabir, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, I enjoy doing this. And thank you. We'll see you soon. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. And please donate to support our work at QuranSpeaks.com.